a mental condition has been fashioned into a socio-political position and a declaration of objective morality. This socio-political phenomenon that has been spreading like a contagious, infectious disease of the mind is destroying people both one by one and in huge swaths. In the less than five years that it has grown to these almost lethal levels, it has thrown away free thought, science and scientific inquiry, reasonable debate, skepticism, and logic, and replaced it with pure emotion, mostly fear and is backed by social Marxism and other socio-political theories. It is a phobia. It is an irrational fear. Phobias are not a good thing. Sociophobia, homophobia, agoraphobia, arachnophobia, the list goes on and on. And all of them are irrational fears that we rightly look at as negative things. Ah, but if it's an irrational fear of hurting other people's feelings, then well... Now it's time to codify it and glorify it and put it up on a pedestal. And treat anyone who doesn't revolve their lives around that phobia as being as bad as rapists, murderers, and child molesters. Because after all, murderers hurt people's feelings, rapists hurt people's feelings, and child molesters hurt people's feelings. So if you don't have this phobia, then you're in the category of hurting other people's feelings, because it is a black and white issue. Because after all, you're either hurting other people's feelings or you have an irrational fear that you might possibly hurt other people's feelings, which is the only moral and righteous way to be. It is the only real moral position you can take. Just like you're either oppressed or you're an oppressor. And make sure you check your privilege. We know this is the right thing to do because you can study it at prestigious universities. It's good versus evil. You don't want to be evil, do you? <laughs> well, then join all the others who have given into this phobia. Other feels phobia, join. Don't be evil or I'll have to vanquish you with a frivolous lawsuit. You must have other feels phobia or you're a terrible person. When everyone else is problematic, you'll look so much better. So improve your life. Don't be scared that you might not be a special snowflake. Join Other Feels Phobia today. Become a supporter of the Other Feels Phobia movement because if you don't join the Other Feels Phobia movement, you'll, you'll be, be sorry. Because you won't like the lawsuits. But seriously, it is the socio-political codification and glorification of an irrational fear. You can even watch people's facial expressions change because the emotions they're expressing are changing as well when they switch to this phobia, just like you can with religious fundamentalists, especially Baptist preachers. But in this case, it's lots of high eyebrows, lots of fake smiles, and people pretending they're happy because so many other people are evil. But they're not evil, they're doing the right thing. I'm righteous, and anyone who has different opinions from me is evil. And then there's always people like this. Sometimes it almost seems like this idea, this phobia, was weaponized and released and unleashed onto Western society to try to destroy it. I know that's kind of far-fetched, but it just seems that way sometimes. It's also kind of a weapon against atheism as well. I almost wonder whether it was originally fashioned by religious people to try to destroy atheistic thought because... They know that we can't keep away from the vision of what morality is, where, you know, it's about uh, thinking about how your actions and words affect other people, but it's taken it to an extreme that it ends up, that whole thing starts to fall apart, doesn't it? It's difficult to counter this sort of thing with the types of arguments that are normally used against religion. But yeah, it, it seems like this has been weaponized against Western civilizations or something. No matter what, if we don't stop it in time, it will destroy Western civilization. And the fallout of stopping it will be tragic because, again, it has taken over all of the movements that were originally individual. It's taken over the, the gay rights movement. It's taken over the trans movement. It's taken over feminism, really. I mean, feminism before it came to this mindset 
you know, it, it had some, definitely had some bad things about it, but it wasn't toxic like it is now. And the really sad thing is it's taken over higher education. It's taken over prestigious universities. It's taken over what is supposed to be intellectual thought. And I say it will destroy our civilization because if you look down the line of what this kind of mindset, what the end result is, what the logical conclusion of it is, is that capitalism is evil. And once capitalism is demonized, then, you know, our way of life will eventually be done. It'll be over. We are destroying ourselves from within. And it's all because of a phobia. Other fields phobia. Join today or you'll be eating babies tomorrow. And raping women. And lynching black people. And bashing gay people. And committing the horrible, inhumane crime of microaggressions. So don't be evil. Join the Other Fields Phobia movement today.